Now, sometimes when I'm looking for a pattern to tie, well, sometimes it's 10 o'clock at night and I just need something quick and easy, but sometimes I just start flipping through the books until something catches my eye. And maybe it's a cool color combination or some unique materials, or in today's case, just a fly with a pretty cool name. And the fly I came up with for today, it's called the 84 Special. And in the Federation of Fly Fishers Pattern Encyclopedia, it was tied by Reginald Denny of Alberta, but it didn't say if he created the fly, so I'm guessing he probably didn't. And if any of you out there have ever heard of this pattern or know anything at all about it, please let us know in the comments. I'd love to learn a little bit of the history of it. Now this fly does have two materials that we don't use all the time. First off, it's peacock sword fibers. Not hurl, but sword. And if you're a new tire and don't know the difference, stick around, you'll, you'll learn. It's, uh, they're two very different fibers. And the second one is burlap. And burlap's a really cool tie material. There aren't a lot of flies that use it, but it's, it really is pretty interesting. It's got just the right amount of bugginess and it holds water really well. And if you realize that burlap is just a woven fabric made out of jute twine, then you'll realize that it's really a common material and you can get it really cheaply. Last year, I picked up 15 rolls of it, just like this stuff right here for $17 in all different colors. And this stuff's probably gonna last me forever. So today's pattern, it's just a generic bait fish streamer. It's a little reminiscent of a carry special with the long swept back pheasant rump feather wrapped as a collar hackle, but it was really a fun tie. And I think it's a pretty cool looking streamer. I think y'all are gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there we go in the vise, an 84 special. Pretty cool looking bait fish pattern. It is a little reminiscent of a carry special. Now I'm tying this on a size eight. This is a regular streamer hook, just three X long. Let's go ahead and pinch that barb. And I'm gonna be using black thread. Whatever size you want, just lay a base down to the start of the bend. Now for the tail, just three or four strands of peacock sword fibers, not a hurl, these little sword fibers. And you can make it pretty long because that hackle we're gonna be wrapping, the, the pheasant rump feathers, they're gonna go really long. And don't worry if these get all crazy on you, they will often do that, start you know, going every which way here. So let's take our thread back up, maybe the midpoint, and we're gonna catch in peacock hurl. This is a hurl, this is not sword fiber. And you see this, that's the, the thick end right here. I'm gonna catch it in pretty close to the thick end because this is gonna be our rib. So if you're using a, a thicker hurl strand, probably be a little bit better off. Okay, just catch that in, we can still break that off. Now let's take our thread pretty close to the eye. We don't have too much going on up front so you can start the body pretty close up there. And you know that last one we did was was original. I used the kind of yellowish olive. I want to mix this one up a little bit. I want to go with pink because, you know, why not? Nobody ever ties this fly anymore. So who's to say pink isn't going to look better? And I am catching it in up front so I can get one layer of this. And this is just my preference. I want a little bit thicker of a body. Now you could catch it in the back here, but then you'd have a lump to contend with. So I think it's gonna be, we'll be better off catching it up front. Now we just wrap this. This is this cool burlap stuff. It's, it's not the easiest stuff to work with and it's gonna be fuzzy and a little bit buggy, but I think that's one of its coolest properties. Aside from it absorbs water and really holds onto it well. So when the streamer gets wet, it's gonna, it's gonna sink down pretty well and, and ride pretty low. So let's just wrap this on up to the front. And burlap is just a jute twine. It's pretty thick stuff. So don't use your good scissors to be snipping this. Use your old worn out scissors. Okay, a couple extra wraps right there. Now let's wrap this hurl up as a rib. And whatever you like, I wanna just um, maybe five, six wraps right here, whatever I think is going to look the best going up. Okay, a few wraps to catch this off. We can break that. Now, how durable is this gonna be with that one peacock hurl fiber as a rib? 
I really don't know. There are a lot of flies that, that call for that though, so it's not that unheard of. But I still wonder if it would just be better to wrap that with a thread reinforcement or maybe even a wire. But either way, this is what I'm, I'm doing how the original called for. Now next is the wing, and it's just three or four strands of more peacock sword fibers. Call it right on top. And again, these might go all askew on you too, but you know, don't worry about it. I think that looks pretty cool that way. Now for our hackle, it's just one feather from the ring neck pheasant down there on the rump. And I'm gonna take one that has some brown in it. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. But see how all, all these fibers right here, they're going to end up on the hook. I'm really not gonna trim much of it at all. So what I'll do, I'll grab it by the, the tip to create my tie-in point. So there's my tie-in point, but all those fibers up forward, I'm gonna use them. And I'll show you how in just a second. Okay, let's get this caught in. Three or four good wraps right there. But this, I'm just gonna fold it back. Maybe move this feather to the side and then fold this back kind of over on itself and get a couple wraps to trap it down. Okay, now I can get my thread out of the way. So I've got those fibers right there and I'm gonna wrap every fiber on this feather onto my hook. Try to preen them back if you can, but if not, don't worry about it. We can take care of that when we build our head. So I'm gonna wrap this two times, three times if it takes that. And it looks like it's going to until my last wrap here. I really don't have much but a bare stem. So you know what, I can just go one more actually and catch this bare stem off on my side right here. And it's gonna look all crazy on you before we're done. So I've got a lot of those fibers going forward, but don't worry at all about that. Let's just snip this stem off and now pull these back and try to get them where they're evenly spread out around the sides and the bottom as well. I've got one little one right there I'm gonna have to trim, but just make as big a head as you want to get these laying back. You know, don't be afraid to get a big head. It is a streamer. So there we go, we got them all laying back. Now I just got that one annoying fiber right there. Let's take our tweezers, see if we can yank that out. Well, sure didn't get it all, but I could take care of that with my singeing tool in just a second. Let's do a wet finish, see if we have any cleanup. So there we go, that's it. The only cleanup I'm, I've got, take care of that little feather right there. Other than that, drop a head cement, and this guy's ready to fish. So you be the judge. Does that pink body look better than the natural yellow? Yeah, I don't know. I'm still gonna fish it. I think it looks fine. And it's a pretty cool looking pattern. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.